He looks great with all that gold on him. The following contest is a tag team extreme rules match. Introducing first from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the hardcore champion. And he is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. It's got to be great to be a double champion in WWE but he has twice the target on his back right now. Indeed, Michael. When you're at this level in WWE, everyone is gunning for you, even your so-called allies. I think this guy has more titles than friends right now. Gentlemen, you don't get to this level of success in WWE by accident. He had the skill to earn both those titles, and I think he's got the skill to keep both titles. Double champ in the building. Skills so nice, they call him champ twice. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions and the WWE United States Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. I can't imagine the amount of pressure he's feeling carrying around two championships. Yeah, the pressure is on when you have one title, but with two, it has to be immense. The double champ is here, and the level of oxygen in the room has changed. Holding those two championships, he's making his assault on the WWE history books. Here comes our Tribal Chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. Representing the bloodline from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Herman Reigns! The Tribal Chief has faced opponents from every corner of the earth, and none of them have withstood the challenge. And at this rate, who's left? Well, it may seem impossible, but a match like tonight is an ultimate opportunity. Then reality sets in. You are facing greatness on a different level.
uses all the power in WWE in the palm of his hand. If you want it, come take it. Nobody has done it yet. Here comes the Hall of Fame Fina, the most intimidating and imposing competitor in WWE history. And one of the most awe-inspiring entrances in all of sports entertainment. And representing the Brothers of Destruction from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, WWE Universe standing in reverence. No one embodies human suffering in inescapable peril more. Yeah, this isn't make-believe. It's like having real horror among us. A being who wields unspeakable power and transcends space and time. A dark fog envelops our arena. And the creatures of the night are upon us. Entering the hollowed ground of WWE's Hall of Fame just made the Phenom stronger. Think of the incredible resume of The Undertaker. Won the Royal Rumble, conquered Hell in a Cell, and won 21 consecutive WrestleMania matches. Arguably the most incredible competitor in WWE history, and the decades of destruction continue. The wrath of the Reaper annihilates your body and your soul. Impossible to prepare for, unfeasible to predict. Every step the Phenom takes, you're one step closer to your demise. It is a grave mistake to assume that you will survive. In an Extreme Rules match, it's hard to predict what will happen, but there will be chaos. I can assure you of that. The thing I learned by Extreme Rules is what he thinks he has it. And he manages to kick out at one. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Oh. Big knee to the midsection. Just mounted with punches and not... Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Left by the turnbuckles. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. Face full of turnbuckle. Strong kick. My goodness. Rhodes with a jab and the bionic elbow. Hey, you can't do that. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Feels like in an Extreme Rules match, your strategy almost has to be to have no strategy. But you do need preparation. Will this be enough? And there's the save. Set him up, Russian leg sweep. Cody Rhodes hooking up his opponent. There's the final cut. 
straight to the knee. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Oh, a European uppercut. That menacing nature of take. Uh -oh. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. They're thinking about the end, finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Oh, good punch. measure. Oh no! Oh, and a reverse DDT. Vaulting plancha, incredible. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you, and the explosion occurring ringside. And gets tossed back into the mat. What a clothesline! Ouch! He steers clear of contact. Counter! And now there's an opening. The American Nightmare. Orton firing up. The voices are talking to him. Stomp to the arm. And that DDT was well delivered. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Ooh, slam! With authority. And now gets tossed into the ring. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Randy Orton gets him back. And Undertaker's looking to the crowd for some support. No clue what he hopes to find down there. He's got a table. We know where this is going, gentlemen. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Punch lands. He's got him scouted. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Oh, it looks like it's time for a little demolition. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Got her. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Undertaker dealing with some repercussions there. Part of the territory when you're in an extreme rules match. Brody looking to end this. This could do it. Crossroads. Cody Rhodes just might have finished things. And a kick out at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, man. Obviously hoping to take things to the next level with this ladder. Undertaker. It's going to the track. His partner's got to be thankful for that. What a save. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Kick out just before two. Still going to take a map. The Undertaker looking to finish this now. His eyes look shoulders down. And he only stays down for a one count. Wow. And you got to think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. This has clearly become a more grueling fight than anyone could have imagined. It's as if these superstars came out here tonight to prove a point. And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Very breaker. He eludes the contact. Oh, that's a good one. Squaring off right by our announce table. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, shit breaker. Taking this moment to tease him with the kendo stick. Just like that, Roman gets stopped. Great counter. Right out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, God, what a brain buster. Oh, stop right to the hand. 
Orton measuring. Ooh. Boom! Reigns plotting a power move. You're a Nagi! Man, oh man. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. The Viper able to strike back. Back and forth from these competitors. response from the Battle War Undertaker. Yeah, The Undertaker is at a point in this match. The guillotine locked in. This is all, that was an incredible counter. Whip back into the ring. Pedigree by Rhodes. Spear by Reigns. Wow, Reigns nailed it. Looking for the victory. Coming back from Reigns after that. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. And a series of vicious stops. The WWE Universe. May have just vanquished Reigns. Cover. Able to counter with a takedown. This one is headed outside, guys. He's had to endure. We're at a vital stage in this matchup, and this audience is fully aware of it. Yeah, they know another turning point can come at any second, and that can be the instant that ends it all. Look at that insult to injury with that one. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. Stops. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Put in a position now. Uh -oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out into the barricade. Taking this to the floor. Ooh. your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. He's just taunting his victim now. Power from the suplex. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Steer clear of that. Saw the original. The director's cut. Kick to the gut. Boom! DDT. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Punch! Reigns laying down the gauntlet for his opponent. Flatliner hits him with the counter. Big forearm. Big punch finds its mark. And you can tell these attacks are disorienting him. Sustained attacks up in that area could cause impaired vision. Look at this. Snap suplex.
Poser. Last ride. Cody's looking sluggish. Things could be winding down for him. The Undertaker scoops him up. There's electricity running through this arena right now. Will it be the spark for one of these competitors? Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Larian. What is manhandling their opponent? Faraway slam! Oh, look at the knees. Just endless knee strikes. More attacks to the neck area. Not a pretty sight to witness. A pedigree! Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh my gosh, what impact! And he has no regard for anyone else now that he has a sledgehammer in hand. My goodness, the human skeleton shouldn't have to endure a smash like that. And there's the Yonagi. Land of him. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Side headlock applied. For a good Punch. measure. Oh, side dive. Oh, God. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Weapon in hand saying, I'm up in the ante. Sledgehammer right to the gut. There are plenty of ways battling this area could end in serious harm. Oh, we are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. This is getting more and more alarming with each uninterrupted attack. Kendo stick to the skull. thrown to break up the maneuver. Shin breaker. Superman punch. Good night. <laughs> oh, the Undertaker gonna ring the arm. Followed by the leg drop. down. Setting him up for the flatliner. Man, face first. Oh, he's just trying to pound their opponent into the ground even further. Oh, man. Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. Oh, my God. Directing their attack on the neck. For face first. Inverted STO. And here we go now. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. One up. Uh oh. But right hands create separate. One more time throwing the heavy artillery. Hoist it up, whipped over in a snap suplex. Plancha to the outside. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. The Viper shows his instinct. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Orton setting his sights and lining him up. Side Russian leg sweep. Orton putting his opponent right where he wants him. Vintage Orton! Does he have him here? Oh, finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here are your winners. The team of Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton. And a 
it's Randy Orton leading the team to victory tonight. No frills, no gimmicks, just old school tag team excellence to get the victory.